out of that they dotted warning, line right yeah. there, yeah. and it would have been a turnover. So Banks calls timeout. Smart player, heady player. Liam Banks from Ward Melville in New York. Next week, doubleheader. It's the Blue Jays and Terrapins. Good Men day and to women. play too, Keith. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Last year we saw the Maryland Terrapins and the women uh, just play a, a really impressive Clinic. game, the way they run up and down the field and the athleticism. I thought Hopkins' and women last year played them tough, but just have so many quality players for Cindy Tim Shaw's club. And then the men, and how big a game is that? Always Maryland Hopkins is big, but next week, seating's on the line, I'm sure, Quint. Can we have some weather next week? Can we be kick, nice. can we, how can about we, some sunshine at 75? Nice. Can we kick in the spring here? Ooh. Yesterday afternoon for a couple of hours, it was nice. Yes, it's Michael. Michael shot inside 130. We go Hoy and everybody's going to be coming in on the end line. I think Mike Powell from Syracuse will handle. He'll probably be covered by Brasco. The goalie, Jason Bourne, will eventually have to leave his net, come out and double team. Heard some, something from Dave Cottle said inside 130, Michael. So Michael Sullivan, who's had a big game, uh, yeah. he's their go to guy. Sullivan and Proud have led the way for the Greyhounds. Syracuse's Michael Powell. John Brasco trying to stop the water. He does. Ball. He strips him. And he does it. A dangerous oh. pass. Trying to play the back to goal. Stromberg with it. Stromberg has done this before, Scott. End to end. Last week he scored a goal. Coming through some heavy traffic. Shot and a save. Sullivan with the rebound. Oh! And it's stolen away. Tried to get it out to Horsey, and it was picked off by Billy St. George. St. George with a great play. Got a violation. It's going back to Loyola. How about Stromberg? <laughs> Stromberg with the shot. <laughs> and then the nice save by Mullen. It wasn't the fastest shot. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> I think I could have stopped that big. Well, but he did that last week, Scott. He went end to end, scored a big goal. 136 to go. Loyola has possession on the out and in violation. Billy St. George stepped out of the box, the defensive clearing box, and then back in, which is a turnover. You got a couple of long stick middies, Strong oh, and Avon drop that really do a lot for their teams. Boy, that, yeah. that, that position, you don't get a lot of noise. You're not scoring goals, but how important inside. are they? And Dave Cottle. Michael, you start with the ball. Diagram. Put Gavin inside. Michael starts with the ball. Put Brunage here. We're going to screen down. Screen down. If it's not there, Ga Gunner. 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 If it's not there, Michael. If you don't have Gavin on the pop, I want Gunner to sneak left, right-handed. Okay, Bobby. That means you're here. Okay. Yep. You well, I'll tell you what. We'll put you inside. No. That's right. No. I'm not. Right, you, you bang the ball. You bang the ball here, Gunner. Yeah. You look for this backside pick for this guy coming straight down the gun. Yep. Now, if that's not a basketball play, fellas, I don't know what is right there, huh? Dave, a great basketball player himself with uh, Northern High School. And a lot of basketball tendencies in this game, and the double screen down, obviously looking off, away from the The ball will be the triggered ball. up yeah. top by Sullivan. He's got a pick and a screen set on either side. Gunnar Gettleman, number 10, will be behind the cage. If Sullivan doesn't have an initial look to one of those picks, he's going to kick it behind to Gettleman on the back right, then Gettleman's going to look out in front. Yep. I'll tell you what. Win, lose, or draw here. Loyola, pretty impressive effort against yeah. uh, the number one team in the country today and a, 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 Scott, good, right. a good rebound after a uh, disappointing loss last week. Could have folded up to 10 last 8 25. They've outscored Syracuse 3-1. Penalty marker down. Gettleman looking out front as diagrammed and goes down low. And now the penalty be assessed with 124 left. So the extra man coming up for Loyola. So, a date, so the plate doesn't work. Play work, they drew a foul. Absolutely. That, that's a real positive, and credit Gettleman for attacking right away. You didn't want to waste the clock right now. John Desco grabbing his hair and aging a little bit. <laughs> the life of a coach, right? <laughs> Especially on the road, Scott. This is their yeah. first road game in about a year, Quinn, I believe, right? Yeah, April 23rd of 2000, the last time they played in enemy territory. They've played a bunch of neutral site games yeah. since then. Obviously, the playoffs. Dave Cottle working it over on his bench, and here we go. Extra man for Loyola. Down two goals. And it's been good to Loyola today, four of six. And you see Syracuse coming out a little far, Quentin, here. A little farther than they have. Sullivan. 
Can't wait too long. Nearing the one minute mark. And that's picked off. Syracuse, Dan Stesson. Stesson out and back in, oh. same violation. Yeah, but he dodged that bullet. Here we go. Right back to action, under a minute now. Loyola needs two, they gotta get one and then win a draw, and there they go. Pass inside and Prout scores again. Gavin Prout with his fourth goal and seventh point in this game. He has four goals and three assists, and it's a 13-12 game with 50 seconds left. Here it is again. Prout from Summers, but gives Sullivan a lot of credit with the lob pass to the backside. He just totally threw the ball over the Syracuse defense to the backside where they had a two-on-one and Prout was left alone. The slide late right there by John Glatzel, and Prout's having a monster game. Started with Sullivan, the lob pass. Hey, talk about a big face-off. Now, can you stop Chris Searcy, who is only X? 50 seconds left, 13-12 Syracuse. And he does just that, Scott. And here come the Greyhounds with a chance to tie. Regonis, oh, what a big play. Controls the draw, and now Loyola's got a chance to tie. Sullivan. Oh! Good look inside. Out to Horsey. Horsey fires. We're tied. 27 seconds left. The Loyola bench going crazy. Bobby Horsey on a one hopper has tied the game. Regonis wins the faceoff. Some nifty passing. Syracuse's defense never got settled. And Horsey sticks the bounce shot underneath the pipe with 27 seconds to go. Unbelievable. Four straight Loyola goals. Horsey catches, jump shot, bouncer by Mulligan. We are tied. And how about Ryan Radonis winning the biggest face off of his life probably to set that up? Scott, they've only won seven all day. They've been out number 21 to seven in that category. Let's see if they can do it again here with 27 seconds left. Loyola scored four straight goals oh, and here comes Powell. Syracuse. Powell darting through traffic. Draws the double team, penalty marker down. Penalty marker down with 14 seconds left in regulation. Right out in front. Oh! He stopped. Bourne slid across and stopped it. How did he stop it? Jason Bourne oh with, with the kick save. Nine seconds to go. Syracuse will have the extra man. That was an empty net almost. Unbelievable the, save. The ball hung up in the air just a fraction too long for Syracuse. Kaufman draws the two. There's no help. And look. Oh, 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 what a, what a great play. effort by There's Jason your Bourne. save. <laughs> yeah, that's the save of the year. <laughs> nine, nine, nine seconds, seconds in regulation. And Loyola down a man. You just heard John Desco say, hey, we get the ball in overtime. And it makes left hand shot sails wide. Woo. Boy, keying it up was Brian Knee, and he got some mustard on that one. A absolute cannon on the far side. Banks will hold, will no hold yeah. death overtime, where there will be no face-off, and well, Syracuse will control. Wow. Well, we went four sudden deaths earlier this year on two sports over at Hopkins with Virginia. We're headed into overtime now. Loyola with a terrific comeback, scored the last four goals in the fourth quarter to tie it at 13. Loyola was down 13 to nine. Sullivan scored his fourth from Prout. Prout from Sullivan, Prout from Summers with 50 seconds to go and then Horsey put this game in overtime. Let's yeah. set overtime again, a four minute sudden death overtime period. And anything can happen, Scott. Four goals for Loyola in the last 6.30 to force the sixth tie of this game. And, and, if you're, and if you're Syracuse, even though you have the ball, you got a little shell shot right now. Let's take a look at uh, the two big plays from Loyola. First, Bobby Horsey. Horsey will take this pass from behind, Syracuse was in a total scramble mode. It was Brundage with the assist, and he just bounces that ball perfectly Ooh. off the wet turf. Horsey's first goal of the game. At the other end with time going, there's a penalty down, there's about 13 seconds to go. Kaufman draws the double team, watch Jason Bourne, the goalie. Somehow lunges with that right foot and makes the save. Syracuse, <laughs> Syracuse runs a timeout. Mrs. Horsey, Bobby Horsey's mom. For I think she just said a prayer. Like, <laughs> she looks like she's been through the, oh, the ringer here. Charlie Toomey 
Bobby Horsey from Westchester, PA. Greyhound bench, four minutes, sudden death. A goal ends it. If nobody scores, then we start all over again, another four-minute period. He starts on the extra man, I think, for another 51 seconds, if that was a minute foul. Yes. And obviously a crucial defensive stand here by the Greyhounds. What's Syracuse extra man today? They came in around 40%. It scored 14 goals and 35 extra man possessions prior to this game. So John Desco hoping his extra man offense can end it. Loyola trying to knock off the number one team in the land. Syracuse five and one coming into this thing. Their only loss, so one goal loss at home against Hopkins, and here we go. There's a primary feeder, that's Liam Banks. Everyone else is a dangerous shooter. <laughs> Syracuse with the extra man. We're in overtime, tied at 13. Banks behind the goal. Hoffman in the center, as is Soliday. The teams are even. And there's a shot to save, deflected straight up in the air. Jason Bourne comes up huge. And diving for possession will stay Syracuse's way. Teams back to even strength. Syracuse is probably going to take a timeout here. Actually, Loyola takes a timeout. Jason Bourne, Whoa. a terrific save. Watch, this is Springer, who's done this all day. And Bourne stays tall. He stayed tall. Remember earlier I said how he was dropped down. down. Yeah. That time he stayed tall, got his head on it. Biggest save of Boy, what the What two afternoon. plays Bourne has made in the last couple of minutes in this game. Spectacular. If he doesn't make either save, the game is over. That's, yes, that's pressure. Yep. Springer so deceptive when he jumps. It appears that he's going to shoot it low, but Bourne really was disappointed.